Hey, what is going on you guys? Today, we are going to be going over how to use the monthly budget tracker that Google provides in Google Sheets. And you can see here, I already have this monthly budget tracker pulled up, but in case you don't know where to find this tracker, all you have to do is go to the Google homepage, and if you see right here, there's gonna be a few dots listed. If we click on this and we scroll down, you can see Google Sheets is listed right here. So let's click on this and we will have a page load where all of our sheets are pulled up and you can see up here on the top a monthly budget tracker is automatically provided by Google so let's click on this and now we have our monthly budget tracker pulled up now let's go ahead and go over how this monthly budget tracker works so the first thing we need to look at is we can see here that there's currently two tabs there is a summary tab and there is a transactions tab if we look at this transactions tab, this is the tab where we will fill out our monthly transactions showing our expenses and our income, and these will roll over onto our summary tab. And we can see here on our summary tab, we can see our starting balance for the month versus our ending balance. We can see our increase in total savings as a percentage and as a dollar amount. And if we scroll down here, you can see we have our planned expenses versus our actual expenses. And on the other side, we have our planned income versus our actual income. If we scroll down here, we can see the categories we have listed for all of our expenses as well as the categories for our income. And on our income, you can see we already have $1,500 listed for this month. And on our expenses, we already have $1,000 listed. That is because Google has automatically put those two transactions in as an example. So let's go ahead and delete these transactions from the transactions tab. And let's go ahead and list our own transaction. So let's say on January 1st of 2021, we made $1,000 and we will say the description is mowing and we will make the category paycheck. And if we come over to our summary tab, you can see under our paycheck category, we now have $1,000 listed as our actual. The actual $1,000 is listed here under income as well. And you can see we have saved $1,000 this month. So now that you've seen an example of how the transactions tab works, let's go ahead and make some adjustments to the automatic numbers Google Sheets has put in as an example. So the first thing we wanna adjust is our starting balance. So this is the number that you're starting the month out with. So if you have $500 to start out the month, let's go ahead and put that as our starting balance. And when I hit enter, you can see this number has changed for our starting balance and these numbers have adjusted accordingly as well. Now let's go ahead and scroll down. Here on these planned tabs that are colored differently, this is where we wanna list the amount we have budgeted for each of these categories. So let's go ahead and list some examples. So for food, let's say I have $300 budgeted for food, maybe $20 for gifts, $50 for health, and we'll say $800 for home. And we'll stop there just for the example. And let's say for savings, we have $50 planned. For our paycheck, we have $2,000 planned. And for a bonus, we have $300 planned. You can see here how our difference tab has adjusted accordingly. And if we come up here and look at our planned expenses and our planned income, you can see how that has changed accordingly as well. So when we come back over to our transactions tab and we start listing out our expenses and our income, and we can leave a description We'll say Wendy's and when we come to our category, we can list what category that expense is under. We'll say food. So we'll say we spent $50 at Wendy's. We come back to our summary tab and when we look at food, we can see we have planned $300 being spent for the month. So far we have spent $50, so we have $250 left. And you can see our expenses is $50 for the month so far and we still have $1,170 planned. And the same thing goes for our income. We can see the difference in our income plan versus the actual and the total right here as well. 
So now I'm just gonna go ahead and jump forward and list a lot of planned expenses and planned income and some transactions as well so we can see what the finished product will look like. Okay, so we have jumped forward and you can see here I have listed some example expenses for transactions and some examples for income transactions. And you can see what I've listed here and kind of how that works. But if we jump over to our summary page, we can see here all of this has updated automatically. We have put in our starting balance of $500, which is showing up right here, and we can compare it to what is now our end balance, which is $1,642. And we can see that this was a 228% increase in total savings, and we saved $1,142 this month. And if we scroll down, we can see how we did for each category we budgeted for our expenses as well as income. So we can see for our food category, here we can see the difference. We still had $43 remaining. On our gifts, health, and home, you can see we spent just a little bit over budget as well as on our utilities. And if we look on our income, we can see we saved $30 more here that we were expecting. Our paycheck was about right. We didn't make quite as much in interest and in bonus monies we hoped, but we did make more in our other category for income. And if we look at our expenses and income up here on top, we can compare what we had budgeted for the month compared to what we actually had. So for our income, we had $2,580 planned versus our actual, which was 2,582. And the same for our expenses. We had planned $1,380 of expenses, but we actually had $1,440 for our actual expenses. So we can see that this is a really useful tool when trying to track your monthly budget. Just a few things you need to make note of. This is a product that is completely free to anyone with a Google account, so I highly suggest that you take advantage of it. You will notice that when you click on some of these columns um, and rows on the summary tab, you will see that there is a formula put in, so be sure not to mess with anything that is not highlighted. It's very easy if you want to change something that is highlighted, if you wanted to add another category here you can see, but you don't want to change anything that is not highlighted because that will mess up the formula here, which will then not pull from the transactions tab. I hope this tutorial on how to use this free monthly budget tracker was useful. If you want to learn how to make your own monthly budget tracker in Google Sheets like the one you see here, then you can click on the link in the description. You can also head to my Patreon page where you can download my interactive monthly budget tracker in Google Sheets. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching the video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.